Today I'm going to show you the results of a ballistics test that some friends of mine and I did on my bunker door design. The bunker door is in an antechamber, which is about seven feet deep. And if I spin around, you'll be able to see that not more than about three paces, but ten feet, is a concrete block wall that drops off. 15 to 20 feet. So the maximum distance you could get from the bunker door is about five, maybe six yards. Door is constructed of eighth inch thick angle iron with each strip of angle welded together along the back seam into a plate. Now behind this is three sheets of plywood and behind that is another plate of steel. The idea being that the angle is going to work like a trap, destroy and fragment any bullets and then the plywood inside is going to slow the velocity, stopping the bullet from piercing the secondary plate. To adequately test the strength of the door, I put together a sample to mimic the design of the door itself. Now the quality of the welds are not nearly as good. It was actually quickly tacked together. And the design is a little bit different. I'm going to show you how in that what we've got here is the angle, and then the steel, and then the ply. Whereas in the actual door, it goes angle, ply, steel. We used 22 9mm 45s and a 5.56 AR-15 all from a distance of 5 yards. So the 22 did very little. You can see it just barely even marred the surface. And after repetitive shots we did break the weld so these are all free and I'm going to move those around to show you exactly Everything we did. Then we moved to 45, so this was the first impact of the 45. There you go. Additional shots with the 45 were able to um, basically dent, significantly dent, single plates of steel. Then we moved to a 9mm. This is a 9mm as well. And as you can see, this dent right there, 9mm. Let me show you what did pierce. The 5.56 AR-15 did pierce in a few locations, went right through the exterior angle iron steel. I'm going to move this and show you. In one instance, that 5.56 stopped right here at the second sheet. In the second, it pierced the second sheet and went into the plywood. It did not pierce the plywood. Looks like it stopped right about the first sheet of ply. So that tells me that the final design is a good one and should stop at a distance of uh, five yards, the 556. Five, For comparison's sake, let me show you what we did with that same rifle. Now this is target steel. It's not good. That 556, five, from about a distance of 100 yards, shot straight through this puppy. repeatedly. It's like Swiss cheese. Here we see eighth inch angle. Did not pierce the secondary sheet, didn't even get a chance to enter the plywood. But when we shot into eighth inch welding steel with the plywood behind it alone, that's this, this shot, we were able to pierce straight through all three sheets of ply. And we did have some fragments exiting. So, reinforces the notion that the exterior sheet of welded angle iron is a superior design. In conclusion, I'd say this was a pretty successful test.